I have three questions that I really want people to think about. So first is, um, do you wanna work in primary care? Do you see yourself in a clinic setting, um, working on health promotion, uh, disease prevention, um, and caring across all spectrum in that primary care setting? Um, because our program is a primary care program. So we prepare students to um, be primary care providers. Uh, and the second is, um, do you wanna care for patients across the lifespan? So are you interested in caring for infants, um, children, adolescents, adults, all through the end of life? Um, because if not, we have some really excellent programs that focus on pediatrics or adult gero uh, and not the whole lifespan. We really wanna make sure people are coming in for the right reasons and really wanna care for all populations. And the third is, it kind of goes back to the first, but to think about will this program provide you with what you want for your career? So think about what's the optimal setting, where you want to work, where you see yourself, and then will a primary care program that prepares you to care for patients across a lifespan give you the skills and knowledge that you need to, to be successful? So we have multiple um, modalities and strategies that we use from the traditional face-to-face -face didactic. We also have hybrid where students will have to do some like watch videos and do different learning activities online and then come to lecture or class prepared to engage. Um, we have clinical conference and then we also have like case-based education where we use case studies and clinical encounters to help stimulate clinical decision making in our students. So we really use a broad um, amount of strategies to make sure that we reach all learners and their different learning styles and then we're also like pedagogically reinforcing some of the knowledge and skills that we really need to highlight in our program. So there's actually quite a bit you can do as a family nurse practitioner within the primary care setting um, and also urgent care um, subspecialty, but most of our graduates end up in the primary care se setting. So in urban or rural settings, uh, family practice, some internal medic medicine, some work in pediatrics, but those are more people who have had a pediatric background. Um, but there also, again, is the breadth of you can do urgent care and subspecialty care. Some people work in school-based health, um, retail clinics. I started out where I was in traditional family practice, caring for patients across the lifespan in um, underserved communities in, in, in inner city Detroit on the east side. Um, and I've since transitioned for the last seven years, I'm now in school-based health. So I'm working in adolescent health with underserved youth. Um, and that's what's one thing that's really beautiful about this degree is that within that realm of primary care, you can specialize in different populations and groups. We're a research intensive university, so we have cutting edge, um, innovative education strategies and techniques. Um, we offer clinical placement support, so students will get placed in clinicals where it matches the goals of their program, but also we can find matches based on students' um, individual professional goals. So if someone's interested in adolescent health, we'll try to partner or pair them with a clinic that's in adolescent health. If they like cardiology, we'll try to find them at least one of their placements in that subspecialty. Um, the university has a strong emphasis on interprofessional education, and there's an, a center for interprofessional education just showing the dedication, and really there's a lot of opportunities to have educational experiences across the health sciences. Um, we also, I think this is really neat about our program, is the School of Pharmacy faculty teacher pharmacology classes, which is a really, good strength and something really unique about our program that not a lot of nurse practitioner programs have that. We also have a lot of expertise in our faculty in and of themselves and they're committed to student success. So we have specific designated staff and faculty who work together to identify placements that match the goals of the program, um, which is really unique. And being the University of Michigan, we have a strong reputation within the state and outside of the state to find strong clinical placements. We do also have a lot of oversight in those clinical placements, which when students have to go out and find placements themselves, there's not that much oversight in the quality of the actual clinical placement itself. We really want to make sure that there's a good fit for our goals of our program and the students are going to get the education they need, not just the number of hours they need to complete. Um, and our clinical courses, so we have our content and didactic that's going alongside our clinical hours and we try to have um, where things are front-loaded. So 
as much as possible, students will have some content ahead of time, and then they'll be able to have like more of a clinical immersion where they can go to the clinical setting multiple days a week and have a more realistic environment of what the clinic setting would be like in practice.